This weekend, the Maize and Blue will say goodbye to seniors Brittany Martinez, Natalie Bielstein, and Katie Zorales. The trio have combined for seven All-American honors, an 83-19 and overall record, two Big Ten titles, and one regional title, and that's just so far. Okay, Coach, I'm sure this is never easy for you, but three of your highly decorated seniors are about to have their final home meet of their careers here. Just your thoughts on that uh, going into the Saturday. You know, it, it's always bittersweet when you have senior night because, you know, they, they all have been so important to the program, and, you know, we've seen them come in as, uh, as girls, and now they're leaving as women. And, you know, it's a pretty exciting process. Um, I'm proud of them, I'm happy for them, but uh, by the same token, it'll be, you know, kind of sad to see them go as well. So we'll wish them well and thank them for, the, you know, everything that they've provided us during their career here at Michigan. Has it kind of hit you yet that this is your final home meet coming up? Uh, not yet, but just sitting in class thinking about this weekend today, I was like, got all kinds of chills and I was just like, can't believe it. It seems like just yesterday that I saw my seniors walk out there. No, it hasn't really hit me yet. Uh, I'm kind of excited, excited for it to be the final meet in Chrysler, but I mean, it's not exactly the final meet of the season, so I'm excited to you know, have one last run at Chrysler and then go on to the next weekend to the Big Ten Championships. Because there's so, because the type of season you guys are having as a team and because of your goals this year, is it something that you don't really get caught up in because of the hopeful road ahead? Uh, yeah, I think that's definitely what happens. Uh, we're just more focused on every meet, one meet at a time. And, you know, I haven't really been focused on the fact that it's just the last meet in Chrysler, but just, you know, going out there and, you know, having a successful meet with everybody else and then uh, going on to the next meet. I'm really excited to compete in Chrysler again. It's bittersweet <laughs> that it's the last time, um, but ready to go out there and do my job as well and come out with a good home score for our final meet of the season. Uh, you've been two-time All-American. You've kind of turned into this bars and beam specialist. Kind of talk about your evolution as a gymnast here. Uh, yeah, I came, I came into college wanting to be an all-arounder. It was always my goal. Freshman year, I got to see a little bit of that, which was really exciting. But my ankles just didn't want to let me do that. And uh, bars and beam, I love the event. I am so happy that I can still be contributing on those two. And so that's what it's like come down to. And I, I love it every day I get to compete it. Having the major injury that you had last year and having to sit out and watch, did it give you a special appreciation going into your senior year to kind of soak in every moment? This year? Oh, definitely. I mean, it was really hard to sit out for the rest of the season and have to watch the team, especially last year since we had uh, such a struggle and we didn't have as much people in our lineup as we do now in the depth. So it's definitely gave me more appreciation of the sport and, uh, you know, it's exciting to be back out there with my team and I'm just excited to have one last chance to do that at Chrysler. You were an All-American prior to the injury. You are adding uh, more routines and getting more difficult routines back there. Are you feel like you're you're back and then past where you were before you got hurt at this yeah, point? Yeah, I'm definitely. I feel like I'm definitely back and I feel uh, very confident. Uh, my floor routine is where I want it to be, and I mean we might add something here and there, but I feel like I'm definitely back on vault and floor, and hopefully. Uh, We'll see if I can get into the bar lineup uh, one last time here. Uh, some of the other teams I've talked to have talked about competition and practice, and when you're surrounded by talent, it helps you elevate. Having someone in the all-around like you jo and Joanna mm -hmm. competes at such a high level, does that help you? You guys have you know a friendly competition with each other? Joe and I have a great dynamic. We both push each other in competitions. We have a really healthy competitiveness with each other, and I think that drives our team to do even better and I'm always so proud of her when she does incredible because that contributes to our awesome score and hoping for her to get that 10 on floor finally. You know obviously you guys are having a pretty special year at this point but it's far from over. Yeah it has been very special and we want to finish it out on a special note. Our goal is to reclaim that Big Ten title again and keep the Michigan tradition alive and we want to, again, be back at Nationals this year and go after a national championship. When you came to this program, it was in good shape. You guys are mm -hmm. winning Big Ten titles. Is that how you guys hope to leave it for the next uh, group that comes through? For sure. I'm honored to be a part of this tradition and to keep it going, to keep it alive. And 
just to leave my legacy at Michigan as well. I've seen all the other incredible gymnasts before me, and I hope I can leave the same mark that they have. This particular class that you're you're seeing out, they've all kind of been bound together by the same thing. They've all had to overcome adversity. Katie as a freshman, Natalie and Brittany last year. Talk about them, their, their ability to bounce back from that. Well, you know, unfortunately in our sport, I think that's a lot of people's story is, um, you know, having an injury at some point in time or another, whether it was in high school or during their college career. Um, but, you know, these are pretty resilient young women and they're very hard working and very determined young women and you know in, in these cases you know all three have have really um, not o not only just overcome but they've gotten back to 100% and in some cases I mean this is Katie I think is having the best year of her entire gymnastics career um, at any level and so that's pretty exciting for a coach to see someone that continues to get better and improve throughout their collegiate career um, in spite of some injury setbacks. And so, yeah, those are all um, pretty cool things. This program has had a lot of success. When they came in as wide-eyed freshmen, it was a success successful program. Uh, they'll be leaving it in the shape that they found it. And how important is that, that that's their legacy, that they, they kept it going? Uh, you know, we, we always talk to the athletes and, you know, it's, it's every class's job to kind of leave this program um, better hopefully than than when they entered it and you know in this case this year uh, you know this team is really confident really um, has a legitimate shot at going after you know contending for a national title which would be something that we've never been able to do we've been in second twice we've been third we've been fourth but um, that that national championship has eluded us to this point so that would be an absolutely fantastic way for this class to go out and an incredible legacy for them to leave. The meet against Iowa State begins at 4 p.m. on Saturday at the Chrysler Center. After that, it's on to the Big Ten Championships in East Lansing on March 23rd. With the women's gymnastics team for MGoBlue.com, I'm Anthony Palladano.